What's good, YouTube? Dorsey Man Gaming here. And I know people are getting tired of me talking about college football, but I can't help it, man. It's that time of the year, you know, May, June. This is really the time where promoting college football really kicks off for the video game. This is around the time where it would really kick off and then it would release around uh, mid to early July. EA's lawsuit was over $60 million that actually included NCAA basketball players as well. Amazing. Quarterback from Alabama, number 12, McCown, McCarran, can't remember his name. McElroy, McElroy. He, he got his check. And now, mind you, he was in the NFL, but still, you know, he made a valid point on his Twitter account. This was back in April or August of 2016. He said that, you know, a small amount of money pales into comparison of being able to be in a video game that people will play for years. That not only people will play for years, but that millions of people are going to play. And he made a valid point, another valid point. He said advertisers would kill for that. You know what I'm saying? Basically, you know, advertiser would pay you to put them into your video game. Like uh, in Madden, for instance, you know how you have like the Snickers commercial break and Old Spice? EA didn't pay them to put that in there. The advertisers paid EA. You see what I'm saying? And like, okay, I played college football. I was at a Division II level, though, so we weren't in any video games. But I can guarantee you that he's 100% correct. I would have loved, I would have killed to have my likeness used in a football game for free. People are going to know who you are. And that's going to open up doors for you. But greed, greed, greed. Now, you know, People say, well, it's never coming back. I think I think that's a crock of crap, man. I really think that NCAA can easily, easily, and I honestly feel like it's potentially coming back. You didn't hear this type of outcry for the basketball game. Damn sure didn't hear it for the baseball game. Um, but for NCAA, especially the way that college football is going right now, and the crazy thing is they didn't use likenesses. They may have used height and weight, but a lot of players weren't even the same skin tone, didn't have the same hair. Like, it's crazy. But this is my thing. This is where we're at right now. Those lawsuits are paid out. The court did say that EA can still make college football games. So I think really it's just up to the NCAA and EA Sports. The NCAA... EA Sports, what are the one thing that they have in common is money. Money talks, man. If they wanted to make another college football game, they very well can. Do I think that they will? Yes. I would not be surprised because I'm telling y'all, you know, I talk about E3 and how EA is kicking off E3 and they say they have some surprises. Only surprise that it could potentially be is a new game coming out, which... I don't see that being a huge surprise. Like as far as like another, you know, EA, EA is the publisher, but, you know, having um, a developer bring out a new game. That could be a possibility, but I don't think that's what it is. I, considering the time frame, I don't know, man. I, I'm just praying and hoping. And I know people, you know, people have said in the comment section before it's never coming back on, you know, and you're being too optimistic and just, you know, give it up and things like that. But I can't. I can't. And, and maybe because people don't quite understand what it means. Like everybody has something in this world that they love. I love playing college football. I love the video games. I loved it when I was in college playing football. I love the excitement. I like college football. More than I like Madden. Yes, EA, I said that. I like college football more than I like Madden. Doesn't mean that I don't like Madden. But if I had to choose between the two, I would choose college football 100% of the time. I would even be more inclined to choose Madden if I could bring my players from college football to Madden. 
But yet and still, I'm playing Madden. I love Madden. I enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. But if I had my choice, if I if EA asked me, what game do you want us to come out with? College football, 100%. It is a cash cow. And I don't know, man. I feel like if enough people got behind it, EA will be pushed to do it. If you get some of these NFL players behind it, if you get the... Even if the college players, the same way they came out about lawsuits, they should come out and say, hey, you know, we want to be in a video game. And and then EA can be in a position to say, hey, can we use your likeness? And they can sign a piece of paper. It's that freaking simple. Because when I was at Southern Arkansas, before we ever touched the field to put on any equipment, we had to sign a paper. We didn't have to. We could have said no, but they gave us an option to give our permission to the university to use our likeness in media guides and things of that nature. And you sign that paper. Yes, I give them the right to do that. And we did, because who wouldn't want to be on a poster? Chances are, if you're good enough to be on a poster, you probably got a bright future here to you in sports. I'm just saying. I look at guys that I play with, like Don Unamba and uh, Cedric Thornton. I'm just saying, man. So EA, bring it back, man. And, and my thing is this. I'm the type of person, if you're not going to do something, just come out and say you're not. You know, when you don't, then you leave speculation. You leave room for hope. Um, and so in EA's case, they haven't came out and said, we're, 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 it's, it's not. Only thing that they said is discontinued. Why? They even said that the profits would exceed, I mean, the, the, the court fees at the time would have exceeded potential profits from the game. That was at the time because they were still, if the court fees wasn't as high, if the, if the lawsuit wasn't as high, they would have still been cranking out NCAA football games. And since the majority of their resources was going to that, that's why the game didn't come out. Let me make this clear to you all. They didn't stop the game because of the lawsuit. EA could very well have easily put out a video game, just like I'm saying, with bland, generic rosters. The issue wasn't with using the university's likenesses and stuff. The entire issue was of two things. Number one, EA wanting to pay the college players for using their likeness. And number two, that was the main issue between them and, and the NCAA. The NCAA wasn't okay with it. EA wanted to do it. So you take that out of the equation. Now they can't use player likenesses. Okay, fine. Now EA get back to the drawing board. Because I guarantee you, you can buy the licenses for those teams. They, they're not going to say no to the money. You see what I'm saying? So... And, and, and to know that, you know, that's why they didn't put out a game, you know, that they even said that we were going to put out games, but we didn't because the lawsuit, basically the lawsuit amount and stuff was greater than the profit they would have made from the game. So they would have been at a loss. But now that that's finished, see, because people say, well, they can't put out a game. They didn't put out a game then because of the law. No, man, you have to understand the why. And that's why, because. The profits or the lawsuit amount was $60 million. They weren't going to make $60 million off NCAA, potentially. They have to look at the potential. They could have took a risk, but they didn't. They said they would have still put games out, but they didn't. But now that that's over with, we could potentially see another college football game. The question is, I don't think it's even a question of if. I think it's more of a question of when. Now, they're kicking off E3. And then they have EA play. Now, EA play, we know they're going to be playing Madden and all this and that. We know they're coming out with NBA Live. They've already said that. That's no surprise. We know they're doing another Need for Speed. We know they're doing another UFC. That is not a surprise. A surprise is something that you didn't see coming, like Tom Brady on the cover of Madden. I'm really, I'm really looking towards it, man. I'm really looking towards uh, the start of E3. I want to hear them get on stage and say college football is coming back. Now, what they could do, you know, too, one thing people had to think about is because, okay, even last year, EA, EA had the frostbite engine. Now, a game generally takes about two years to develop. Now, people say, well, Madden came out this year. And the year. EA had the frostbite engine two years ago, over two years ago, probably. So the Madden that you're seeing now wasn't in development for a year. I'm pretty sure it was at least a year and a half to two years into development. 
um, they could have very well at the same time began developing a college football game as well using the frostbite engine. Because one thing you have to think about is this. If they wanted to put out a college football game, if they want that game to make a return, I'm going to be honest. First of all, they could have put out the same thing they did last year, just update the graphics, and we would have been happy. However, from a business standpoint, if you're going to return something, you want it to return with a bang, with a boom, with a pow. What better way to do that than with the Frostbite engine? That would give you more depth into the game that you want to do in everything, man. It, it makes sense. So my question is, could we hear at E3 and the EA play that NCAA football is going to return? That's the only surprise, because they said surprises, which is plural, meaning more than one. We already know they're probably going to announce another developer making the game, but come on, you know, how really exciting is that? Is that worthy enough to kick off E3? I don't think so. What could be the single-handedly, the single-handed thing worthy enough of kicking off E3? In my opinion, it's NCAA football returning to me. Especially the way that college football has been going. Especially the way that recruiting and things of that nature has been. Football is a freaking cash cow. I'm sorry. That's the truth. And I am going to continue to do football videos on NCAA. I'm going to be diligent because I want it back. I want to be the one that when it comes back out, I can truly say that, hey, I, I want to feel like I played a part in that, you know? And if it didn't, at least I can say I tried. But what are you going to do? Are you going to sit there and listen to this video and then turn around and say, it's never coming back, blase, blase? If you're watching this video, it's because you want it back. Why not join in? Why not tweet EA every day about something about NCAA football? Why not share this video with EA every day to bring back NCAA football? Because guess what? They're gauging how many people are interested. They're not dumb. I think that thing last uh, year before last or last year on Facebook, I think that was legit. I think that was a legit test to see. Hey, let's see how many people are really interested in this game. Because they could have posted that on any website. Why post that on the NCAA football? EA Sports Football for college website. Why do that? Or Facebook page. Doesn't make sense. They're gauging. They're gauging. One of the best kept secrets in the gaming industry. They're not going to miss out on their money. This is what you have to think about. You have to think about the money. It's going to be back, man. It's going to be back. Let's keep the ball rolling. Till next time, y'all. Bye-bye.